What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Super Mario World, the second reality project. Oh, let's just jump right into Over the Bridge. Alright, right off the bat, we got two Yoshi coins. But I don't think it's worth trying to go after that one. Hoy, so... Guys, what the fuck has been up with you? And let me tell you all about the bullshit that I've had going on. So in the last episode, I know we discussed that uh, the wash machine decided that it was a good time to just fucking die. Like a douchebag. Well... Ordered a new washer. Damn, this level's loaded with fire flowers. It'll be delivered on Friday. So, that's good news. A little more money than I wanted to spend on one, but, eh. My theory behind that was, you know, if I'm going to spend the money to get a washer... Might as well get a halfway decent one. Right? Damn, more fire flowers. I mean, I'm not complaining about the fire flowers, but... Damn! How about a feather? Oh, hell. Fuck me. So I believe in the a previous episode, I also mentioned that, uh... Did I mention that the bathtub was leaking, too? Randomly? Yeah, so... You know, I had to spend a day... Opening the bathtub up and seeing where the leak was coming from. I think I got it figured out. I think I got it patched up. But. I mean, still don't know for sure. It's kind of a. It's fucking playing the waiting game now. Oh, hey, that, that level actually wasn't that bad. Or if it was, I was too distracted with just, you know, talking. It's usually the opposite problem. Alright. Now we have a, a little conundrum that this is actually castle number four. So we need to backtrack all the way into... I guess this is still the vanilla dome? And take out castle number three. Moving cave number two. Did I already do this one? Or is it that similar to moving cave one? I feel like I need this. I don't know, this seems very familiar. Very familiar. I think I might have done this and died right at the end. Or it could just be that much of a clone of moving cave number one. But there doesn't really seem to be all that much going on. No, I've definitely fucking done this.
I must have died right at the very end. Like a fucking idiot. Hoy! But yeah, anyway, the fucking bathtub. It's, it's like everything decided to just break all at once. Oh, yeah! I remember now. I died here. The fucking bullet bills. Aha! Oh, shit! Almost there. What the? What the? F okay. Shit. What the fuck? Yoshi. We need fucking Yoshi. To hell with that shit. But, yeah, on top of all of that. Had a huge fucking storm. I mean, like, this is the first time that I've ever felt thunder actually shake the ground. You know, I've had it shake the house before, rattle the windows... But never shake the ground. Like, legit earthquake feeling. That was freaky. And then the damn internet went out. And... After troubleshooting the hell out of it, I came to the conclusion that the coaxial that runs from... The splitter behind the main TV to the modem was shot. It was still sending signal, but it was not at a high enough frequency. Like you could tell that, you know, when you touch it, the TV screen would get a little static. Oh, fuck off. That's some bullshit. I wonder if it's made like that so that you can't bring a Yoshi. So that you gotta do this fucking Kaizo bullet jumping shit. That, that's, that's some bullshit. That, that could have been my fault for jumping a little too early. But I swear, it just did not look like there was enough clearance for Yoshi anyway. I mean, even that would have probably been real tight. God damn it! Damn it! Go refill our shit. <sighs> anyway, I got the fucking cable replaced. 
good old fuck Comcast. Cause, you know, if I had a... I've had this happen before, and you fucking call them, then they'll send a technician out at some random ass day, either between 8 and 1, or 1 to 5. And that's the best that they can give you. If the motherfucker even shows up. I'll get to that in a second. But then, when he does show up, it's a goddamn $75 charge just for the technician to show up. Like hell, am I going to pay $75 plus for some guy to show up whenever the hell he wants to change a goddamn cable when I can do it myself? It's not that hard. You unscrew the old one, you screw in the new one. The end. Oh. One small step for Yoshi. One less fuck I have to give with those bullets. Because at the very least, this is one extra hit. But I gotta stay tight now, because... My hitbox is a little bit taller, and I don't want to get squeezed. But yeah, about the fucking Comcast showing up whenever the hell they want. About six months ago, I was trying to upgrade my speed, you know, to get the streaming going. I know I talked about it before. And... Motherfucker. I kept scheduling it for days, and they're like, alright, technician, scheduled, blah, blah, yada, yada. Cool. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! So, make myself available all damn day. And where the hell... It's the damn technician. See ya, Yoshi. Hate to do you like that, bro, but... I mean, sometimes that's how it's gotta be. That's a dick move. You gotta be... Fucking nothing on my face. That's bullshit. Anyway, fucking three damn times I scheduled this technician to show up and it never showed up. They still have given... They have still not given me an explanation as to why he didn't show up. I also missed the name of this level. Okay. So the last level kind of... Kind of... Slides into this one. Koopa kick. Yeep. Well, that was fucked up on my part. By the time I saw what was going to happen, it was too late. Yeep. Biatch. Oh, be a mushroom. Woo! Holy shit, he was ready to turn around and come at me. Yeah, die in that chocolate milk. Fuck berries. Oh, fuck. How did I wind up on that one? Ooh. If 
feel like there must be something this way. Ooh. Nope. Oh, hell yeah! Probably would have been a cape feather if I'd have still been big. <laughs> if only. is down there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because this one isn't a red labeled or a, a red colored dot. Can't think of what I want to say anymore. So there's only one exit. So who gives a fuck what's on those alternate areas? That's bullshit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, what is this? What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh. Whew! Alright, we're making some pretty good progress in this episode. I guess when we come back, we'll take on the Lava Castle. Or, you know, let's at least take a look at it. If we beat it on the first go, all all right, that's fucking awesome. But if we die, that'll be the end of the episode. But let's, let's take a little sneak peek. This is not lava. Not lava at all. Anything in here? No. All right. Well, this seems a little off time. Is this helping? Maybe? Wasted way too much time on that shit. Holy balls. Come on, Cape Feather. Nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> right, we, we we doing something now, boys and ladies. Fuck. Hesitated. Hesitated. Woo oh my god, are we really gonna beat this castle first go? I don't fucking trust these gaps. Something ain't right. F 
feel like there should have been a lot of saws or something there. Oh! That's a dick move! Oh. Oh. We have plenty of time left on the timer. Oh. This is actually one of my favorite castle puzzles from the original game. Probably could have flew. Didn't want to risk it. Oh, don't go in the lava. I can't look. Ooh, super close. Oh, that was stupidly risky. But, I mean, it paid off, so... Who cares? Whew. That's a really long castle, but alright. That's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Check out the links if you want to help support the channel, and I will see you guys next time.